Hello, it's Tanya, VSG Tanya 2011, and this is the Back to Basics WLS channel, and I am your Tuesday vlogger. Um, today's going to be a quick video. I just want to talk about something um, that I've been going through the last couple of weeks, and um, I want to start by saying I am not a doctor, and if you're having this issue, talk to your doctor. It's what I'm planning on doing, um, but I just want to talk about it since other people may be affected by it too. So, of course, I had the VSG. Um, at the end of this week, I'll be 18 months out. And I've been noticing for the last few weeks, I've been experiencing hunger. Like, like my stomach is growling. It, like, I feel hungry. And I know with VSG, you know, that part of your stomach's gone. You really shouldn't experience hunger. So, last week I did some, uh, searches on the web. Looking, uh, like searching for hunger after VSG. And I found a video and I found a really interesting article. An article wasn't necessarily specific to um, weight loss surgery, but it had to do with stomach acid. And so what I think it could be is that, I don't know if, I think everybody has to do this, but I could be wrong. After um, my VSG, I was on um, an acid reducer, a prescribed acid reducer for three months either two or three months after surgery. And I've never had heartburn in my life, really. I um, just haven't had those issues. And I never had any issues after surgery. And so my surgeon um, told me to go ahead and get off of um, that, acid, that prescribed acid reducer. Um, I think it was at my three month mark. And he had said that if I had any issues to go ahead and start taking it again, but I never have had heartburn, so I never did. So after reading these articles, it said that, well, actually one of the videos I watched, I think it's Dr. Alvarez. I'm going to put the link um, below and um, so everybody can see it. It's like a three or four minute video. But he says like immediately after surgery, your stomach's really swollen and irritated, obviously. And you could feel hunger pains in the first few weeks after surgery just because your stomach's healing. And... About, I guess, I think you said 18 months or two years out, it could happen again where your stomach gets swollen on the inside for who knows what reason, and that you um, you need to take the acid reducer for a few weeks and um, until your stomach kind of heals again. So, um, this other article I read said that acid kind of accumulates in, you, in your stomach, and you can either have one of two problems. And I'll put the link to this article too. And I'm, I'm just really summing, summing up what it said. That um, you can have GERD where your the acid actually comes back up into your esophagus and that's where you get the heartburn from. Or the acid, stomach acid can accumulate in your stomach and the pyloric valve that opens up your stomach to the small intestine um, doesn't open. So it doesn't release the... Um, the acid to, to leave your stomach and it just kind of sits in there and churns and that's what gives you that hungry feeling but it's not really hunger it's stomach acid so what happens is you get that little bit of empty hungry nauseated feeling so you eat something when you eat something that triggers the pyloric valve to open and it releases the acid into your small intestine and you feel better so you think oh i was hungry and good thing i ate something but that's really not necessarily the case so, last week I started taking just an over-the-counter acid reducer twice a day. I think it's like an Equate version of Pepsi, I want to say. And I have to say, I am noticing a difference that I do not have that empty, hungry feeling and I'm feeling a lot better. And then the only hunger feelings I've had have been noticeably hot head hunger and not stomach hunger. So, um, I am scheduled for an appointment with my bariatric surgeon for my 18-month follow-up um, uh, two weeks after I come back from Vegas. I think it's actually two weeks from tomorrow. So, when I go to that appointment, I am going to talk to him about it, and I will report back and let you know what he says about it. So, like I said, I haven't talked to my surgeon yet. This is not medical advice. I'm just telling you what my experience has been. Um, I know there's also a risk that you can have low stomach acid, which means your food is not being broken down properly. So um, that's why I'm just doing an over-the-counter thing right now. And then when I talk to him, I'll see what his opinion is. And I don't know if there's a test they can do for it or not. But um, 
like I said, when I find out more, I will let you know. But I was a bit alarmed that it felt like I was having hunger. And, um, you know, I'm afraid of hunger. I really am because that is really what I think drove me to my obesity problem. It was the insatiable hunger. So... Uh, if anybody else has dealt with this or knows anything about it or has any articles or videos that I could watch about it, please share because um, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has gone through this and um, I'd love to be able to have some other information beyond the Google searches that I've done. All right, y'all have a fabulous week. I am so freaking excited about Vegas. It is not even funny. If you're going to be in Vegas, don't forget that Thursday night there's a Back to Basics meetup. 11 o'clock at the Tequila Bar in Bally's, and um, I think it's going to be jumping. I think it's going to be really fun. So I cannot wait to meet everybody and say hello and give hugs and just exchange thoughts and ideas and hugs, and I don't know. I'm just excited. I am so freaking excited. I um, do plan on making a video from... Um, Vegas, um, kind of talking to people. So if you want to be in a video, let me know. And um, if the time is right, you know, we'll, we'll make a video. All right. Y'all have a fabulous week. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye guys.